Volvo's new car in the upper middle class is the S90. We now have a closer look if this car is as good as its competitors. Let's start with the exterior design. The most important design feature of the new S90 at the front is for sure this slightly curved grille here with its 23 upright bars. And if you then come to the side, you see this very small ice, the new headlights here. And this together makes the face of the car. I think it's slightly aggressive, but it looks brilliant. And if you then go to the side, Here we find these big wheels. They go up to 20 inch and they give the car a solid stand on the road. The rest of the side, I think it's simple and clear. We have this one line that starts at the front, goes over the complete side of the car and into the rear. And that supports this high shoulder a lot. For me, very important is the roof line. It drops here a lot. And this here looks very much like the actual Audi A7 to me. The first thing that attracts your eyes when you come to the rear of the car are these backlights here. They go very far into the middle of the car and in between you find the Volvo signature. Also very important for the car here are these big exhausts. They make the car look more dynamic, more sporty. When you stand here, you can see how wide, how big the car is. There must be loads of space at the interior. And this is the place where we're gonna be next. In the interior of the new S90, you find a very nice mix of materials and good craftsmanship. Everything is the way it should be. And what I really like is this center display here. It's a touch screen, and from here I can configure and control nearly the whole car. On top of this, I have this 12.3 inch full digital cockpit that supports me while I'm using the satnav, for instance. What's very nice as well is the seating is great. The seats are comfortable, very supportive. I really like that car. It's very spacious, very comfortable. But now let's see what's with the next row. Taking place here at the second row, it's still spacious and very comfortable. But to be honest, me, I'm nearly two meters high. I think I'm at the edge of what is possible if I sit behind myself. There's not so much leg space left, not so much head space anymore, but I'm very tall, I'm not the standard. To be honest, the seats are comfortable, very supportive. I really like that space here. But now let's see how the boot is. The maximum boot space of the S90 is 500 liters. That should be enough for everyday use. If you need a lot more, you have to wait for the estate for the V90 because that one offers more than 1,500 liters. But now let's see what's under the bonnet. Volvo offers five different engines for their new S90. There are two diesel and two petrol, and their power range goes from 190 up to 320 brake horsepower. The two more powerful versions of these engines have all-wheel drive on board as well. And if you miss real power or six cylinders, there is another plug-in hybrid version that offers 407 brake horsepower. For all engines, the eight-speed automatic comes as a standard. But now let's see how our test car drives. Our car is the S90 T5. That's the model with a 2-liter petrol engine with 254 brake horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque. Like all the others, we have the 8-speed automatic gearbox on board and this package works well. The car is easy and nice to drive. The sound level here at the interior is very low. It's a pure pleasure. But if you want to drive a bit more sporty, it sometimes sounds like the engine must work too hard. This is only a 4-cylinder, so I think I miss the 6-cylinder engines. The cure might be the offered uh, plug-in hybrid model, which offers 407 brake horsepower. But I still think if you offer a car like this, you should also offer a six-cylinder engine as an option. The S90 is available in four different trim levels. They called Kinetic, Momentum, Inscription, and if you want it a bit more sporty, our design. Our car here is out of inscription, and that means we have the highest level, and so we have nearly everything on board you can ask for. But even if you buy the cheapest version, you will still have loads of technology. For instance, in series they offer a traffic sign recognition, a traffic jam assist, a adaptive cruise control, and loads of other technology that make life a lot easier and safer as well. So I think this could be a big advantage if you're looking to the competitors. With the new S90, Volvo offers for the very first time a car that could be a real opponent for cars like the Mercedes E-Class and the BMW 5 Series. It offers plenty of space, modern technology throughout the car 
and on top a good range of engines. And if you see the exterior design, it's a real beauty and I quite like it. If this is the recipe for success, we find out quite soon.